guys have to come with David though because he's a property owner. You guys have to come with David though because he's a property owner. You guys have to come with David though because he is a property owner. Full Circle Farm is a beautiful three acre property in North Sacramento owned by David Tatchow, where he has lived nearly his whole life. A community garden with budding fruits and veggies is, was thriving with several farm animals and hardworking and passionate people. For the past two years, the U.S. Bank has now been using forged and fraudulent documents, illegal and underhanded tactics, spousal fraud, as well as the failure of the court system to follow the law and protect our citizens from these corporate criminals in order to gain possession of this landmark to the progressive community of California. This is nothing new to Tat, given his history fighting the establishment. Two decades ago, Tat's parents were in prison for a few years for cultivating a couple ounces of marijuana. Back then, he had to fight and pay $10,000 just to keep the property from forfeiture. Tat is now a medical marijuana advocate who legally cultivates for half a dozen patient users. Despite the ongoing legal debate on the property's ownership, U.S. Bank auctioned the property to Anthony Vasquez, a.k.a. Richard Vasquez, for the giveaway price of $85,000. Upon visiting the farm, he explained to me that he just intended to flip the property for a profit, clearly a noble cause compared to our occupied community garden. Vasquez could have joined Tat's lawsuit against U.S. Bank, but he chose not to. Tat offered Vasquez $120,000, then $150,000, so he could buy the property again, but those offers were denied. Vasquez has already listed the property, hoping for a quick sale, asking for $300,000, and describing, quote, an opportunity to steal a lot. Didn't you hear about the revolution? That kind of greed is so 20th century. <laughs> Tat's legal proceedings continue, which he has been fighting pro se, without a real lawyer, with the help of the Justice Reform Coalition. But Mr. Vasquez was able to get the Sheriff's Department to evict Tat and the rest of us on June 13th without advance notice. You will have an opportunity to retrieve your Exactly, yeah. but even the second time that we came out here with the I think they also decided, yeah, we'll go with the first again. That doesn't have to happen, and that wasn't happening this time. It didn't happen this time. So that's why no, they I don't even understand how I don't even get it. It doesn't seem day. fair. I understand right. what I understand what you're saying. I mean, yeah, I still mean, got the right. lawsuit against the bank. Right. The bank that's still out of the bank because this they illegally sold it to this, right. this person. That's and still in a separate situation. It is. It is. It is separate from what we're doing. No, I. That I will continue. I understand I that. I know you do. As far as as far as things go, I don't really take that spirit. If you're asking me, yeah. I'm agreeing with you, like right. I said earlier. Right. I hear what you're, the situation that you're in. I can't change it. And everyone here right. is going to have to grab like five minutes worth of stuff and head out onto the street like right that. Can you advise them so that we're not going to have any problems with, with your guests? Okay? Guests, I, I live here. Yeah. Uh, no one one we one totally one. understand. Do so you have that vehicles that you have to leave? You have to move? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the best thing to do is, is to pile whatever you need to do, you need to have in those vehicles. Yeah. I wasn't told anything like this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Ye
eleven twenty Thursday. Your call has been forwarded to an automatic voice message system. Nine one six eight two for more options. Hello, Anthony. This is uh, Morgan Lesko. I'm one of David Tatchow's roommates at the farm. And uh, I just want to try to schedule an appointment for me to come by and pick up some of my stuff soon, um, uh, given the eviction without notice. And um, so if you could call me back at 3 or that'd be great. Thanks so much. Bye. Trickle. Trickle down huh, from this. You guys got property here? I. Uh, we yeah. yeah, that's a interesting question. Like we were roommates here until uh, yesterday. Uh huh. So we uh, we called uh, somebody that we're supposed to call to make an appointment a to get Anthony. Our stuff. <laughs> Anthony. Well. Now would be a good time. Yeah, we did. Uh, yeah. Because uh, yeah, they'll be here shortly. Actually, uh, she's uh, the wife of the new owners. Right. So uh, and uh, they've got some stuff posted here as far as uh, you know how to get your stuff back if uh, oh, right? if, if you don't do it, uh, you know if you can't get it today. And I don't see why not. Obviously, they would like to uh, you know give back whatever property belongs to whoever it belongs to. So they don't have to do something with it. Yeah. If you leave it there too long, what's going to happen is it's going to go, you know, south, and you'll never see it again. Put in storage or some. Uh, well, out of it. per uh, law, it has to go into storage for so long, or it'll stay here as storage for oh, a yeah. certain amount of time. It's six thirty or sixty days. So, you know. Okay. Uh, and That's you have enough. to come and get it because it. The, the clock runs. And you guys if you used don't to live it, here. Yeah. Yeah, they were ten. Why don't you call David and you guys can all come and get your stuff? I, I mean, I, I, we were talking with him. I called Anthony. I left a message, yeah. but. What's your name? I'm Morgan. Did somebody named Morgan call you? So anyway, yeah, time is of the essence. I don't know if you called the right number because he doesn't have a message from you. Did all right. He lost a message. Yeah, let me get the right number then. Oh, Anthony Farm Dick, that's it. Yeah. I know, I told him. I, I know, I told him that. Okay. 
Okay, you guys have to come with David though because he's the property owner, so we have to make sure that the property is actually going to who it belongs to. Okay. Makes sense. But you, um, you have 15 days. We don't want anything. Um, sure. Let me give you a phone number. Okay. 916. Okay. All right. And if his voicemail school, which it is sometimes, just text him so that he'll get a message. Okay. But make sure you get a hold of David because he has to come. Okay. Okay? Was it? Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, was that some number you called? It was. It was? Yeah. yeah. Dear Mr. Vasquez and crew, please join us in our lawsuit against U.S. Bank or give the property back to TAD instead of trying to remove our community from this land. At least let us feed and water the animals and plants we care for on the farm. We all want and expect to move back into Full Circle Farm. You guys have to come with David though because he is the property owner. Call You guys have to come with David though because he is the property owner. Call You guys have to come with David though because he is the property owner. Okay, yeah!